Well, welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Uh, I tell you what, it's tough at the top, and Richmond certainly found that out last night, yesterday, in fact, at the MCG, when they were overwhelmed by an inspiring outfit in the form of the Sydney Swans. You can see the final scores there. 17-15, 1-17 to 10-12, 72. I'm just going to keep talking here, Nathan, because I know that you're busting to say something. <laughs> no, I'm not, TJ. Uh, Tom Patler's very good. Wicks, we've spoken at length about all these young players who are good. But uh, to welcome Tom Patley to the Sunday footy show. And, uh, Tom, uh, I, I don't think you would have thought you were in this position, 3-0, and beating the former reigning champions on their own MCG. Uh, no bit of a surprise, but uh, we'll take it for sure. I think we've been working so hard uh, over the last couple of years, not just this year. and uh, Obviously, the last couple of years we've had some injuries, but um, this year we've, we've uh, executed the game plan, what we, our system, what we want to play. And uh, as you can see, we've scored a lot of goals, and um, which, which everyone loves. And um, yeah, we're playing well. Now, have you got return vision there? Can you see us, Tom? Yeah, got you. Good, uh, because uh, we know the team was very excited on the back of yesterday's win, and you in particular. Look at that. This is a snap from Michael Klein. You were very happy with whatever you just produced there, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> a goal, I reckon. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, no, nah, that was good. Um, the Swan fans around the MCG yesterday, it was great to see, and um, I haven't seen... Haven't seen, we haven't seen that for a while, so with COVID and um, they were up and about, it was great. Just having a look at some of the highlights at the moment, Tom, and we've spoken about your youth, and sometimes with youth comes exuberance and sometimes some mistakes can happen, but this side in the first three games just doesn't seem to be making any mistakes. You seem sure with the football in your hands, you're making the right decisions, and it is an exciting game plan. Yeah, it is. Um, they're... They've got some, they're young kids, but they've got a mature head on them, and I think that's the great thing about um, kids that come in these days. The under-18 programs that, that are run these days are, um, are great. Um, kids come in ready to play, and uh, as you can see, the kids that we've got today, uh, now, um, they're, doing, they're playing their role, and that's all we ask, and um, they're doing more than that, to be honest. Hey, Tom, can you tell us how different <laughs> this game plan is to the one you had last year, and how much has Don Pike influenced this game style? Yeah, it is, it's a little bit of difference, um, but I think we're just executing it a lot more uh, this year compared to last year. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot um, less injuries, which which creates uh, more experience and better execution, and the young kids, the youth and excitement. But, um, yeah, on Don Pike, he's been a great inclusion and uh, gives great experience, and uh, he's a great fella and um, couldn't speak highly, of him, highly enough of him. And Tom, what you're comparing this year to last year, was, was there much made by some people at the club over the comments made by Damien Hardwick after that round six game last year, the, the game where he was quite critical of John Longway? No, oh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think it was a pretty wet game that day and um, it's pretty hard to score at both ends. But, um, yeah, um, they, they said what they said. I think they got over it and it is what it is. <laughs> I'm interested in your tactics on Dustin Martin. We speak about it a lot. There wasn't a full-blown tag, but I thought Kennedy and Parker were outstanding. Um, what was your thought process going in against the game's best player? Yeah, um, it's a daunting task. Um, he's an unbelievable player, and those boys did a um, superb job. Uh, sort of a, well, yeah, a bit of a mixed, mixed tag, a chair tag, if you, if you like, and uh, they played their role, and that's all we asked from, from young players and senior players, and that was their role to to minimise his impact, and um, they did that um, really well. The amount of kids that have come into the, the team this year, and even the last couple of years, it, it's all coming together. Do, do you have a, a soft spot for a particular one, do you, Tom? I mean, you've got McDonald, Warner, Golden, Campbell, Wicks. They're, they're just the ones that are really starting to shine this year. Which one are you taken by? Oh. Um, I, I, I can't really say a favourite, but I've got to look after my little small forward in Errol. Um, and Wixie, uh, obviously you, got, you like your little um, small forwards, you, um, they put the pressure on and um, we, we get up and about and give a bit of stick to the opposition, which we like and obviously they're all, they're all great players and um, they're, I can't wait for the, ne for the next few years to see what, see what comes of them. Now, two, Tom, two NAB rising yeah. stars, the first two rounds, and I'll have another one. This Maybe with Warner. Warner with or Johnny Wicks. Uh, can you be honest, be honest with us, you're an honest man. How, how did Buddy take being left out for this game? After only being back for one week. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he obviously wanted to play, but um, I think anyone would want to play, to be honest. But yeah, he, 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 he it was the right call. Uh, he would have probably he would have missed it um, the Thursday night game uh, this week, and um, yeah, he sort of just put his hand up and said, "Yeah, it's the right call." And 
the physio staff and the uh, medical team this year have been great with him and great with all of us and that was the right call to make and um, it didn't affect us so it was great. And every chance to be back this week. So, Tom, can I just ask you, I mean, we, we know about the enthusiasm, we know about the injection of youth and these young fellas coming through. Was there anything else done in the off-season to create this new mindset that you have, this real sense of belief, which is in stark contrast to what we might have seen last season? So, has Horse done anything at all, John Longmore? Uh, I think we're just sort of um, going about our business and... Uh, it's like we're, I think like Sydney Swans have always done. They just um, get down to work and, and work hard. And most, like most clubs, you just you believe in inside your four walls, and uh, that's what we'll, we'll keep doing. And we've always, over the last couple of years, we haven't made finals, but um, it's, it's the progress that we've made over those last two years. And the hub last year was probably a really big positive for us. If you could take a positive out of it and to make, to create that that group really tight, uh, there was a lot of. Um, Obviously, we've got a lot of young kids. There was a couple of guys with kids and things like that, like Bud, but he made a uh, great relationship with all, everyone, and uh, it was a great time, to be honest. Um, I loved it, and I think 90, 95%, 100% of the guys loved uh, the hub and what we were creating there, and um, as you can see, it's produced, hopefully, a good season um, this year. Tim, are you believing of the possibilities of the, the fairy tale as a group? Stephen, Tom, yeah. Is it Tim? Um, Tom. I said Tom. Yeah, I said Tim. 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 <laughs> anyway, Timmy, <laughs> do you, are you embracing the possibilities of, of a fairy tale? Uh, no, the old cliche will take it one week at a time. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a funny game, footy, and uh, it's, it's hard work. You can't get ahead of yourself. And um, anyone this year, I think over the last couple of years, can beat anyone on the day. And we'll keep working hard with our system. Uh, we've got a young group, so we know we've got to roll on to the next week. We, we, we'll learn from the weekend and I'll take some positives out of it and things that we can get better at and then we'll Stupid move on to next week and take it week by the time. Tommy, you kicked four yourself yesterday and oh, you gave perhaps. one off late. Which, Did he? Uh, I, I don't like that sort of oh. stuff. A, a big bag of five. <laughs> it's it's very it. unlike you, Tom, to be giving them off. <laughs> well, I, 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 I like to think I've uh, been giving them off this year. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Timmy. Um, <laughs> no, this, this, uh, Mac has got it. Jeremy Bay's got us working really well as a forward line. I think we've been really unselfish. And, um, I gave one off, but Teddy, Teddy Warner's got to be kicking them if I'm giving them off, doesn't he? <laughs> that was the one. You could have kicked your fifth. Let's have a look at the votes. You're all outstanding. I could put a, <coughs> ten players in the votes yesterday, but I thought Tom Hickey in the ruck was outstanding. Went four, kicked a couple of goals. Davey's brother, uh, Chad Warner. Wicks kicked uh, three. And Luke Parker in the middle. Uh, a job on Dustin Martin, as Kane said. Didn't tag him, but it was very good in the middle. And now, Pappers, uh, we got some vision here of the Sydney Swans boys cheering home a nice win last year, I think it was. Run us through this. What's happening? How many are in the horse and uh, how much do you have on it? <laughs> and where are your shirts? Uh, only five, five, <laughs> five, bucks, five bucks each way, Bill. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah I'm no, there's about, off there's the top. about ten, uh, ten, ten of us there and um, I think <laughs> six or seven are in it, uh, actually in the horse there. And there's a few, few of the old boys and uh, it was a good win, but uh, it was second up and then um, it's next run. It didn't go too well. It had a bit of a bleed inside and barely finished, so oh. we went out for a spell. So, um, yeah, hopefully it comes back bigger and better. Well, you had Good to have fun, your though. shirt off, did you, Tommy? Yeah, yeah no air con in that joint. <laughs> 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 uh, you win uh, lose prize pack, uh, mate. You win the uh, dozen Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls and the Odyssey Tour Towel. That is magnificent. Four, that's right, four Travis Matthew caps. That's four to keep a lid on it. At the golf course, the Aquila shoes and clothing are oh, magnificent. The Aquilas, they've been uh, kicking goals since 1958. Bar Fridge from Bar Fridges Australia, there it is there. They are the best in the business. Just go to Bar Fridges Australia. Ricks, a pair of Ricks eyewear. Use the code word CHOMPERS at rickseyewear.com.au for a 20% discount. Platform 28, Lord, I'll be there today. That is the best joint in the business. Platform 28 at Docklands and AMFX. Our very own custom fire pit, thanks to AMFX. Speak to Alan and the team and say, give it a rest, Bill, for a special price. AMFX metal art, 100% Australian made. There you go, Tom. Not bad, is it? Out in the balcony, what is it? What's it like in Sydney? Raining today? <laughs> no, never. 
Beautiful, oh. about 27, sunny. Oh, very nice. What's on for the day? Where do you go? We're on air. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, I went down for a swim, hang out by the beach, I reckon, Easter Sunday, and I um, might go for dinner or something like that. All right, uh, great to see you, Tom. Uh, you're welcome any time and uh, continued success for the rest of the season. Cheers, two chompers. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we got it. I thought he was, was the juice today. Yeah. I know, he was a real... I, he was a, I don't know, I didn't want to say anything to him. I know he's still listening, but it wasn't the Tim Papley that we've come to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was... You still he, he deny said, Oh, I don't you still think I... He's 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 and while we're on it, that, that is the goal for Tom Watson, correct? <laughs> right? That is the goal for Tom Watson. He's still denying it, so yeah. after the break we've got to show that. We're going to play it back. You're never wrong, are you? We're going to play it back. Jim's never wrong. Jim's never wrong.